Yo, what's bonkin' boys? My friend Tones McGrones invited me to his game show, Cookie Quizzin', and um, here's how it went. Okay, all right. Welcome, everybody. Yay! Welcome, everybody. Slinky, you are free to take a look at the screen so you can see what it is exactly that you are looking at, sir. I am so excited to be here. This is beautiful. You see Tones? it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I am so happy to, to show this off. So, Vexy was the first one on the subathon, but you're the first one on my stream. Welcome to Cookie Quizzin with Tone for Girls with special guest Slinky Graves. Yo, say hi to the camera, Slinky Graves. Hello, everyone. How are y'all doing today? <laughs> um, I, I saw I saw the uh, the game show that you had for um, Vexy, and it was very wholesome afterwards. And the whole thing was awesome. I'm very hyped to be here. Thank I'm, you for having me. I'm very hyped to have you here. Are you hyped to have him here? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Slinky's always a joy. Slinky is absolutely always a joy, 100%. So, without further ado, so basically what's gonna, here's what's going to happen, Slinky. I have 25 hand-picked questions based on your favorite games that you gave me. I'm going to be honest, I didn't do anything with Persona because I haven't beaten the game and I didn't feel like looking up spoilers. Um, there's a bit of Mega Man X and there's mostly Mario RPG because we both kind of know that one incredibly well, so... Nice. So I um I don't know why I didn't think about this, but like while I was showering, I was like, why didn't I say like Smash Bros? We both. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fine. It's more wholesome this way because we both fucking understand this question. Uh, so let me let me ca let me calculate here. Uh, let's see here. So if you get a hundred percent of these questions correct, sorry, my model's gonna go crazy while I'm typing numbers. Um, if you get a hundred percent of the questions correct, uh, you will get six gift subs from me on your next stream, or the next stream that I'm able to visit. If you get, nice. if you get 20 questions correct, at least 20 questions, well, actually, if you get at least, no, that's right, if you get at least 20 questions correct. Wait, how many questions are there? 25. Okay, cool. If you hit 22, at least 22 questions, Slinky, you'll get, you'll get five gift subs. If you get at least 15 questions, three gift subs, and if you get 10 or less, no. If you get seven or less, it's one gift sub. But either nice. way, you will walk away with something. All right. Okay. So, Slinky. Yo. Are you ready for your questions, sir? Let's go. Let's get. Let's get going. Let's do it. I'm excited. All right. All right. First question of the day is the following: Super Mario RPG was released for the Super Nintendo in 1996. The box art depicts multiple characters. Who is not on the box? Is it A, Bowser, B, Exor, or C, Mallow? Mallow. Mallow is correct. First question Let's of the go. day. Let's go. Really? Mallow's not on the box? Mallow's on the box. But on the box is Mario, Peach, Bowser, and Exor, the, the sword monster in the background. So. Let's go, dude. First, first question. That was kind of a, that was kind of an easy, easy peasy, but I was like, that's fine. I was like fucking guessing myself. I'm like, no, just shoot it. I'm like Mallow. I'm like, I think on there. It's it's easy to fucking second guess yourself on these things. That's why that's why I love this part so much. Careful, you the... Yeah, I'm, I'm being careful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready for the next one? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. There's a lot of moving parts here, so forgive me. In Mega Man X, you have the ability to learn the Hadouken attack from Street Fighter. In which stage can this upgrade be found? Is it A, Armored Armadillo stage, B, Boomer Kuenger stage, C, Sting Chameleon stage? It's A, Armored Armadillo. Armored Armadillo, is that your final answer, sir? Answer, oh, sir? Absolutely. absolutely. Let's go, Armored Let's go. Armadillo. Armored Armadillo, all right. And that is, yeah, that's correct. Armored Armadillo is the correct answer. Let's go, Slinky. Two for two so far. How you feeling? I I actually really wanted to play Mega Man X when I woke up this morning. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like... Nice. All right. Question number three. Traditionally, the Robot Masters in the Mega Man series have weaknesses to specific weapons obtained from other bosses. Which weapon was Boomer Kuinger weak to? Was it A, Shotgun Ice, B, Homing Torpedo, or C, Chameleon Sting? Boomerang. Boomer Kuinger. What was he weak um, to? It it's B, the homing torpedo. The homing torpedo. Homing torpedo. <laughs> I could not be on TV. Uh, homing torpedo. Is that your final answer, sir? Yep. All right, you are correct. It was the horm. Hor I can't. Why can't I say this word correctly? God damn. All right, ready for next one, sir. Yep. Let's uh, do it. All right, number four. Before meeting Gino, Mario was about to rush into battle without a plan, and Mallow compared him to a real-world actor as a result. Who was the actor? Was it A, Jackie Chan, B, I'm Steven Seagal, or Z, Bruce Lee? Bruce Lee. Oh. 
<laughs> you got really excited about that one. <laughs> Wait, this was a thing in the game? Yeah, so, okay, for starters, yes, that's correct, Slinky. It was Bruce Lee. So basically, oh it before Nintendo, you know, was like, let's, don't do that. So the trans, the localization team basically is like, Mario was like, they, they wrote about the run into the boss room, and Mario and Mal, Mal is like, ah, oh, that's the boss. And Mario's like, he nods, and then just charges forward, swing it, and Mal grabs him. He's like, what the fuck? No, stop. Who do you think you are, Bruce Lee? You can't just go in there swinging like that. <laughs> we gotta have a plan. It's such an iconic moment. <laughs> I, I could not have that as a question. I knew you'd get it right, but I was like, I have to have it. Thanks. All right, so, okay, this one might be tricky coming up. Right. So, number five. In Booster's Tower, a hallway is lined with the portraits of his ancestors, all named Booster. Which generation of Booster is he? Is it A, Booster the Sixth, B, Booster the Seventh, or C, Booster the Eighth? Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Ah, we got a, we got a, we got a stumper here. A good one. <laughs> I, okay, okay. I, I think he's. Oh my gosh, this is tough. Okay, uh -huh. okay. I'm going to. My heart tells me C, but my brain says B. I'm gonna go with the Which one? Eight. I think he's the eighth. So C the eighth is your final answer? Yeah. I don't I don't want to, but yeah. You should have trusted your brain, my dude. It was Booster the Seventh. <laughs> And it's funny because because he, he, here's the thing too because that that was a trick question in multiple ways because on top of the fact that you know you thought it was the eighth but like there are six portraits in the hallway and he yeah. you find him looking at you through the portrait of Booster the Six but you would be led to believe that he was the sixth in line because of that but he's not he's the seventh. I was I was so concerned that you would put any booster questions because that whole map is like. <laughs> <wacky>. <laughs> Yeah, I, I tried to get, like, bits and pieces from everywhere if I could, but there's only so much that I could do with 25 questions, and I also could only stay up to, like, a certain time before I had to go to bed. So, yeah, no, you don't fuck to apologize to me. Shit, dude, you're fine. You're doing fine. You still have a chance to get five gift subs. You're just, you're just you don't get the bonus six one for 100%. That's fine. That's, okay. That's fine. It's a game show. What are you going to do? Question number six. Let's go. Before recruiting Bowser, Mario encountered him rallying his troops, composed of Goombas, Terrapins, and Magic Koopas. Later, we see Bowser again, his army thinned out. Which enemy type was no longer present? Was it A, the Goombas, B, the Terrapins, or C, the Magic Koopas? Ooh, okay, okay, okay. I know the Goombas are there. I know they're there. Um... I love it when they have to think about it. <laughs> yeah, okay. okay. I'm like replaying the, like, the whole game right now. Right, right. Um, I believe it's the... I believe it's the Magic Koopas that are gone. You think the Magic Koopas are gone? Is that your final answer? No, it's not. <laughs> Magic Koopas are the ones with the robe. The Terrapins are the spiky boys, right? Perhaps. No, it's the flight guys. Oh, crap. Okay. Hang on. I'm going to guess the Magic Koopas. You're going to guess the Magic Koopas? Yeah. Let's go, Let's go in. The answer is the Terrapins. <laughs> it's all right. Turn off my brain. Yeah, so in the first scene, it's in order of Goombas, Terrapins, and Magic Koopas all in a row. And then by Moleville, he has three Goombas and three Magic Koopas left. That's right. Ah, damn. Damn, close. I'm like, his army is so small afterwards. Yeah. It's so sad. It gets it gets shrunk down. It's it's crazy. Um, let's see. We're on to, moving on to question seven. Are you ready, sir? Let's do it. Alright. Question number seven. In Super Mario RPG, Mario and Co. do battle with a recurring mini boss named Croco, a crook who is constantly stealing and up to no good. How many times do you fight him? Is it A five times, B two times, or C three times? I believe it's twice. Should be twice. Should be twice? Yeah. I know you see him three times, for sure. Should be twice. And that was where I was trying to trip you up. You got the question correct! Let's go! Yeah. Let's go! You see him a third Ooh. time, but... Okay. You see him a few times, but, like, notable appearances, you, you... You see him at the end when he sells you stuff. Yeah. So... And then, it's so wholesome, like, because he's a jerk the whole time, and yeah, then at yeah. the end he's like... I don't want to spoil it to those who like want to like play the game. I know it's like 30 years old, but ah, in, so in, good. in so fairness, good. there it's like there are going to be some questions that are like late game. I mean, I 
It is a 30s year old game. You know, I can't I can't yeah. hold punches here. That's okay. That's okay. These are good Mario RPG questions. I don't know any of them. Now I'm replaying the game in my head too. <laughs> yeah, I actually stumped Slinky a couple times with this already. So, <laughs> holy crud! You hardcore know this game. I yeah, he does. That's why. That's why most of the questions are Mario RPG, except for this I, next I, one. Oh, let's do it. All right, question number eight. In Mega Man X, an exploit by way of a specific ability can defeat Spark Mandrill without allowing him to attack. What is the ability that takes advantage of this exploit? Is it A, oh, the man. Boomerang Cutter, B, the Rolling Shield, or C, the Shotgun Ice? It's the Shotgun Ice, and I only know this because <laughs> I fight him turned away. I don't even look at him because it, like, breaks and it freezes him. It's so mean. <laughs> it's awful. I think uh, Jared, the completionist, deemed it the Spark Mandrill Syndrome or something like that. Because <laughs> he just gets locked in position. He can't do anything. So yeah, that's correct. Oh, all right. Oops. Don't 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 go all the way down the list. I'm not done. I'm not done. Uh, that was eight. Okay. So now we're going to question nine. Um. Okay. You'll probably. This is probably going to be another another low ball. Uh, question. I have an RPG question. You're gonna stream it again? I want to play in a stream, but I'm probably gonna start from the beginning because it's been so long, and I have so many like new community members that didn't seem to play it from the start. So I I do want to. It's just it's a matter of planning. All right. Next question, Sir Slink. In Super Mario RPG, a password is required in order to fight the mini boss on the sunken ship. What was the password? And I see the look on your face. Just tell me the answer. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't even fucking gonna go for all that. Correct. That's correct. Read the question. I just saw the answer. I'm like pearls. Yeah. <laughs> I I figured. That's so good. All right. All right. All right. Uh, so let's let's move on. Question number ten. In Smithy's factory, clones of bosses, also known as Machine Made, are produced and sent along the conveyor belts throughout the map. Which boss does not have a Machine Made clone? Is it A, Bowyer, B, Yuridovich, or C, Punchinello? Punchinello. Punchinello, is that your final answer? It is. It, it is. is your final answer? Okay, yeah, that's right. Punchinello, 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 despite even like his theming, he is not a part of the Smithy gang. He's just kind of a dipshit that like, he's, a fella? he's just a fella. He's he, and he gets in your yeah. way. He just shows up. He's he just like, make me famous. Yeah. <laughs> he's got this whole thing about, I want to be a movie star. You know, I don't know. It's, it's yeah. crazy. It's really silly. Um, all right. Ready for question 11. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Inside the Monstro Town item shop, there's a group of Goomba triplets that will also sell items to Mario. What item do they sell? Is it Able Juice, Honey Syrup, or a Mushroom? Uh, I think they sell, like, little baby mushrooms. Just, like, the weakest ones. That final answer? Yeah, it is. Yep, they just sell you a basic-ass mushroom. It's just one item, oh. and it's just... It's cute. It's meant to be cute. You're, like, you're like late game, and they're uh -huh. like... My mushroom only heals you, like, 20 <laughs> health, and you have, like, 300 health, you're like, yeah, okay, let's do it. I just kind of buy him, buy one from them because I feel bad otherwise. Like, oh, yeah. man, these, the, uh, Bowser's little nephew Goombas, and they're, they just want to sell the nine shop things. Mm -hmm. I was like, all right, fine, I'll buy, I'll buy this mushroom that won't heal, but maybe, like, a fraction of, of health. It's like when you see, like, kids at a little lemonade stand, like, lemonade for a dollar, you're <laughs> like, like, I really don't need stand. it. You pull over, you're like... Let me get 20 of those. <laughs> Next one in line. Are you ready, sir? I am. I All am. right, let's go. In Super Mario RPG, what is the maximum level that a character can reach? Is it A, 28, B, 33, or C, 30? This is tricky. I think it's 30. Think it's 30? I think it's 30. You want to settle on that one? I do, I do. All right. That is correct. The answer, the maximum oh. level is 30. <laughs> that one, that like, one, that one like, almost got you, huh? Like can you get to like 33 like secretly or somehow? Mm -hmm. I'm like, that, I, I put it, that it there. Like I put it there specifically because it sounds like the kind of thing that they would have done. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love tricking y'all with these questions. I love tricking you with these questions. Fuck you, I still <laughs> you, shit. you did. Vexy is the current like gets all the questions right champion. So I'm gonna have to the next oh, yeah. if I if I do, I definitely want to quiz them again. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to think of some really good ones. Um, oh, we'll, that's not, that's we'll have to replay Super Mario RPG. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Next question. 
One of Mallow's special abilities, or special moves, is the ability to read an enemy's HP and innermost thoughts. How many flower points does it cost to use this move? Is it 2 FP, 1 FP, or 3 FP? I believe it's 2. You believe it's 2? I'm gonna go with A. You're gonna go yeah. with A? Alright. And that would be WRONG, SIR! It's 1 what? FP! It is, it is like one of the most basic of basic ass special moves, and it doesn't do any damage, so it is the lowest value item that you could spend flower points on. So it's one. You can, if you, um, it's one. If you, um, press the button as the clouds, like, line up on the enemy, mm -hmm. yeah, you can see their thoughts and it tells you their health. Yeah, health is the one that always happens. Uh, it's the, it's the inner thoughts, you know, usually irrelevant stuff, but it's just fun little inside, insider, uh, information you can get little when you time the move. Yeah, love it. I, 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 I always love shit like that. We know right. about time hits around here. We know about time hits. Um, <laughs> let me tell you about time hits. Actually, let me tell you about this question. You you talked about Smash Ultimate earlier. I do have a Smash Ultimate question. Ooh, okay. In Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, both Mallow and Geno appear as spirits in the game. What class of spirit is Mallow? Is it the Advanced class, the Ace class, or the Novice class? I don't... I've never used a spirit in my life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna guess with C. You're gonna guess Malo's a novice spirit? Yep. Alright, the answer is advanced. Hello? <laughs> <He> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Hello, no. Malo advanced? He, he, he is an advanced spirit. Gino is legend status, Malo is advanced status. Cute. You gotta have a little bit more faith in our Marshmallow Boy, man. Come on, dude. I do, I do, but like Nintendo doesn't like them. So, like, <laughs> they like them like, enough to put them in the game somehow. This is yeah, intricate. I, I would have said novice too. Yeah. <laughs> he is a cloud. He's he he's a little marshmallow cloud, man. Um, but no, okay. He's a frog. Oh yeah, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, he's a, he's a frog. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's a, he's a frog. He's a ta he's a tadpole. In fact, yeah, he looks exactly tadpole. exactly like a tadpole. Um, all yeah. right, so. Don't despair, Slinky. You still have a chance to get three gift subs unless you get too many questions wrong that fall below 15. So, um, it's not about the subs. It's, it's about it's about the, my the brain. it's about the journey. Is that what it is? It's the it's it's friends we made along the way. No, it's about me getting these questions right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a fake fan. I promise. <laughs> all right, all right. Next question. Let's do it. The final boss, Smithy, can change his head into various forms to grant him different attacks. Which form does not exist? Is it A, the tank head, B, the treasure head, or C, the reaper head? It's the treasure head that doesn't exist. Treasure head? That's right. Slinky, I'm sorry, yeah. but no. the answer is the reaper head. The reaper head does not no. exist. No, he turned into a little cloak. So, here's the thing. That's, the that, that was the twist. Oh my yeah. god! <laughs> He realized it. It was the mage. <laughs> he just ran off screen. <laughs> That's right. No, it looks funny. So, <laughs> so yeah, he has a tank form, a treasure box form, a metal right. mask form, a magic form. That's right. The, re magic the form reaper looks form. So it, the reaper form is the, is the fake. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm like, he wears a robe. I'm like, I thought I thought it was a magic -y form, but I'm like, I can see it being called a reaper form. Right. You know? That that's I'm why like, that's why I that's why I put it there. If cause like Ooh. if you remembered the tank of the treasure box, you would have you would have basically knocked that one out. But yeah. Yeah. No, nah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I, looked, I looked at it funny when I saw it on the like, you know, when you sent it to me, I'm like, he does look like a reaper, you know? Yeah. The optional boss in Mario RPG, Culex, is an intentional allusion to Final Fantasy as a whole. However, his battle theme is a boss tune from an actual game in the series. Which game is it from? Final Fantasy VI, Final Fantasy III, or Final Fantasy IV? I've never played Final Fantasy. I've never, like, actually played it. Right. Uh, okay, maybe I've played it for, like, six minutes. This is actually a really okay, Right. So, I don't know this. I don't even know what Final Fantasy number we're on. We are on. Um, we're on 15 for the record. What happened? Okay. <laughs> um, damn. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna go with three. So B. You go with B. Yeah. I just knew that it was from a Final Fantasy game. Yeah. I just never paid attention to like the thing. A part of me says that it's four, but I'm gonna guess three. Is that final answer? Yes. 
you you should have trusted your gut. It was four. <laughs> so which game is the Cloud reason why? From? I said, Cloud's from seven. The reason seven. why I said that was a really tricky question is because depending on the publishing right. zone, four is six. That's right. I forgot about yeah. that. But they they do specify it as Final Fantasy IV. It is it is a rearranged version with like Mario RPG instruments. Uh, but it is that boss theme in particular. That's that. Fi Have you ever beaten Kulik? Yes. It takes forever though. Jesus what? Christ. I it, he he is. is have not. I haven't the, tried too hard. He has more health but. than the final boss combined because of one specific factor that I'm about to ask you right now. Don't tell me how much health does he have. No, speaking of Kulex, during battle, he is surrounded by crystals with different properties and attacks. What color crystals are there? Red, blue, yellow, green. Red, blue, yellow, white. Red, purple, yellow, orange. He's staring very intent. Are you there, sir? Did Slinky dead? Did Slinky freeze? I think Slinky just... Uh-oh. Slinky rage quit. <laughs> there we go. Okay. You're, you're back You're back on the air, sir. How do you feel? I feel great. Um, I feel... I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. We got you. We got you back on here. Um, so, do you need me to repeat the question? Um, yes. I didn't read it. I was too busy panicking. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Speaking of Kulex, during battle, he's surrounded by crystals with different properties and attacks. What color crystals are there? And I said red, blue, yellow, green, red, blue, yellow, white, or red, purple, yellow, orange. I believe it's A. You believe red, it's blue, A? Yellow. Yeah. Okay. That That is correct. It's like fire, <laughs> water, earth, and wind elemental or something like that. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. No. that You got that correct. Good job. Good job. Like the yellow one's like the weird one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, one of those is fucking weird. Yeah. In Bean Valley, before going to Nimbus Land, Mario and Co. fight with a piranha plant mini boss. What is it called? Is it A, Ooh. Mega Silex, B, Mega Smilax, or C, Giga Smilax? I believe it's B. You believe it's B? Yeah. Mega Smilax? That is no. correct. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Don't second guess yourself before I say the answer! <laughs> yeah, it's mega. It's mega Smilex. <laughs> Did I think his name sounded like Smiley? Or something. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like I feel like this is a trick. You know? Do you know what the funny thing is? This boss that hasn't been talked about. Like it got referenced in the Piranha Plant like uh, Kid Icarus dialogue because they talk hmm. about like all the kinds of Piranha Plant species, and Mega Smilex is one of those. There is yeah. apparently in the Minecraft uh, thing for Nintendo. There is apparently a Wither design for Mega Smilex. What? Like Mega Smilex is like the Wither boss in that in the Minecraft for Nintendo. Boys, we made it. Like, we what, made like it. what the fuck, man? I I saw that. I was just like, really? <laughs> okay, this just shows that Nintendo would do more Super Mario RPG references. Yeah. If, um, if, if, what's their face? Let them. <laughs> we would just fucking tell them where. All right, where, let them go. <laughs> All right, next question. In Rosetown, there lives a gardener who had been searching all his life for two items to help him grow a legendary plant. What were these items? Was it a seed and purified water, a seed and fertilizer, or a seed and blended mulch? Oh my gosh, this is so tricky. I think it's <laughs> B, fertilizer. Fertilizer? Is that final answer? Yes. You are correct. It was a seed and fertilizer. Yay! Purified water, that's good. That's yeah, good. I, I, like, I, I thought about that one. Item. Yeah. <laughs> Which is funny because I think the actual item is just called pure water. Hmm. Pure water in Mario RPG just immediately deletes ghosts from existence. I, it does, I don't it like does. that. Do you, do you want do you, do you want some water, honey? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Hey, want how do you make purified anywhere. water? Huh? Do you want to know how you make purified water? How do you make purified water? You boil the hell out of it. Of course. So bad. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, yeah, next question. The ending thank you screen to Super Mario RPG features several characters. Who is not present in this scene? Is it A, Yoshi, B, the Chancellor, or C, Mallow? Ooh. I believe it's Mallow. I believe Mallow's not there. You think Mallow's not there? Our fluffy yeah. boy. Wait, wait. Who's not? Okay, the, the ending thank you screen, not yeah. the goodbye animation okay 
Yeah, it's Mallow. And you are correct. Mallow is not there. Oh. It is okay, Mar It is Mario, Yoshi, Peach, the Chancellor, and a Toad. Basically, all the not square characters. That Damn, are all that's fucked up. Yeah. Woo. Good one. Good one. Good one. That was good. That okay. Was good. How, how about how how about this one though? In Monstro Town, three. Oh, hang on. Let me send that to you. In Monstro Town, three spirits known as the Three Musty Fears will challenge Mario to a scavenger hunt for three flags. Which one of these locations is false? Behind the sign in Rose Town, underneath Mario's own bed, between the letters G and O on the word Goal in Yoster Isle. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I know it's under Mario's bed because they say a green bed. Mm -hmm. I can't remember which sign it was. I think it was Rose Town, and I know it's de it's definitely in goal, but I think it's un I think it's in between O and A rather than G and O, so I think it's C. That's I think it's wrong. C. Yeah. You man, you hit the nail on the head. Yeah, that is. You even you even told me where it actually was. Good job. Nice. <laughs> Congrats. I was like, there's no way. I'm like, I know it's in goal. I'm like, maybe it's not the correct wooden post. Right. <laughs> yeah, no, I, God, that tripped me up when I was a kid, because I had no idea, like, that that was, like, where they were trying to point me for that one, because, like, goal, what goal, what, what, what goal, what, what's a goal? And I was like, oh, right, the Yoshi Island. Yeah. <laughs> Toad, Jay! <laughs> Welcome! Slinky, you fail, you fall back a grade. No, he got the question yeah. right! I do. Dude, that, that was a good- I was, I was really wondering if you were gonna get that one. Good, good job, good job, good job. Thank you, thank you. Alright, next question. Okay. How pretty is the host today? Very, yes, or Tones, what is this? <laughs> Tones looks beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> There's no right answer to this one, I just put it in there because I wanted to see what would happen. <laughs> Here, here's the actual question, 22. <laughs> In Rose Town, we are introduced to Gaz, the owner of the original Geno doll. What weapon will Gaz give Geno upon returning to the inn? Is it the superstar shot, the finger shot, or the handgun? Dang. Okay, okay, wait. When you return him. Okay. Thank you, Jay. I look very cute today. I believe it's the finger shot. You think it's the finger shot? Like yeah, I think his I think his original attack is when he like shoots out of his elbow. But I think it's the finger shot. And I do believe you would be correct. Oh, I, I was so concerned. I, I I I was wondering if he was gonna trip you up with the superstar shot because that's what he uses on Mario before like he gets knocked out and then there's that whole like transformation sequence with Gino and everything oh. like that. So I didn't even I didn't even know he called it the super. Star yeah, he shot. said, "Get ready for the secret weapon, the superstar shot," and then Mario gets like, hit in the face. Wow, he really pulled out an <laughs> endgame weapon on us yeah. <laughs> and didn't give it to us. <laughs> I know, right? God. All right. Still looking good, we only got a couple questions left. Mallow was originally visiting the Mushroom Kingdom to run an errand for his grandpa. What was he supposed to get? Was it A, Cricket Jam, B, Cricket Pie, or C, Cricket Syrup? We got a slice of that Cricket Pie. Slice of that Cricket Ooh. Pie. Fucking right, coming right up, that's the correct answer. Ooh. Cricket Jam is an okay. item, though, so... <laughs> Low-key, when I saw this when I was little, uh -huh. I was like, that sounds really good, right? <laughs> It, sound, and then it sounds really good. I'm like, I'm like, what is cricket pie, you know? And then like, yeah, it's true. Years later, it connected. I'm like, it's actual crickets in the pie, dude. And yeah. I'm like, oh no, I don't want that. Because he's a frog, my dude. Yeah. <laughs> All right, next question. In Moleville, a little mole child is running her own store. What does she sell? Is it A, a car book cookie, B, fireworks, or C, a shiny stone? I believe, oh, this is so tricky. I believe it's the shiny stone if you give her fireworks. Or maybe she sells carbo cookies. Damn, okay. <laughs> I might be getting, there's only one little girl, no. Damn. I think, I'm gonna go with my original answer. Uh, I, I believe she sells the shiny stone. You, right? al you almost tripped yourself up. Yes, the answer yeah. is the shiny stone. So here's the thing, oh. all of these 
all of these answers actually stem from like the same quest line. There is a yeah. mole. There's a mole child sitting on a bucket in Moleville that's like, I want a carbo cookie. I'm so hungry. And in order to get that shiny stone, you have to get the fireworks and then trade it to the mole girl for the shiny stone, which you can then sell for a carbo cookie. It's a whole thing. So yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, no he sells the actual shiny stone, yeah, right? Yeah, and, and I guess oh. you could do it multiple times because there's like, you have to use that stone to open the door to Kulex also. Yeah. So. <laughs> Alright, this is the final question. I don't know if this is like a stumper, but we'll see. Oh, Alright, let's go, let's go. Final I'm question, ready. final question. On Star Hill, various fallen stars contain the wishes of everyone in Mario's world. Which one of these cannot be found on Star Hill? Is it A, the hunger, oh I can't take it, B, I hope I become famous, or C, I wish for everyone to be happy. I believe the one that's not there is C. Uh, C? Yeah. Final answer? Yeah. Wait. Hold on. Okay, I'm waiting. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna just go with it, C. You're gonna go with C? Yeah. Alright. It's actually A. Oh, I can't take it. It is... The, the 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 actual quote is something along the lines like the hunger oh for some food or something yeah, along those yeah. lines the i the, the i can't take it part was fake the i wish for everyone to be happy that is what becomes frog fush's wish after he gets oh, cricket yeah. jam that's right oh my gosh because i'm like i'm like i know balone makes a wish yeah and i'm like i know the uh the i, for, I can't pronounce his name but the music guy um that that, that that's like todovsky i think yeah and then I'm like, wish to be happy. I'm like, oh, it sounds so generic, you know. I'm like, I don't that's why. Generic. That's why I picked it. One of the answer choices I originally had was the one where it's like, I wish I could be a real plumber like my brother Mario, which is a, yeah. a Luigi's wish. Um, I love that. But thought. but like I was like, that would make it too obvious. So these were very like down the line kind of just generic wishes that weren't particular to like any kind of character. Um, so yeah, let's let's tally up how many you actually got correct. So. Let's see here. I'll count the wrong answers because that'll be easier. Let's see. So wow. one. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> one, two, a three. <laughs> a three. <laughs> let's see. Okay. He has been fake plumber. He, Luigi has been a fake plumber this whole time. Six. Fake plumber five. Oh god, yeah, six. Seven. My god, Slinky, what were you doing? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Seven. Okay, so he got seven wrong, so let me... <laughs> Math. 25 minus seven is 18. So, That's guess great. what, Slinky? You still get three gift subs! Yay! Woo! Get a clap, get a clap! Give, give a, a chat, give our friend po your best pogger emote. If it, it, do it, celebrate, celebrate with us! Damn it! Rave, do something! Was, uh, celebrate Slinky! Was... Woo! Thank you. Thank you, Tony. Congrats, Slinky. That was intense, man. <laughs> I will, I will send, I will send bugs in, in, in chat to, to assist. I got some skull rays. <laughs> got some skull rays. Yeah, send them, send them. All right, all right, let's see. Wait, wait, what is that? What is that? What is that? Oh. Love it, love it, love it, love it. <laughs> I will send money to Slinky instead. I mean, fine, do that. Yo, okay, so oh, like, everyone, throwing that... it back instead. <laughs> <laughs> so that there was Cookie Quizzen with Tones McGrones and Wifey Vexy with special guest Slinky Grace. Slinky, how do you feel? How, how, how did, you, did you have a good time? I feel pretty bonkin'. This was, this was great. You feel pretty bonkin'? Good good quiz show? If, on, on a scale I, of I 1 to it. 10, how would you rate this? Um, I, I need like 100. Okay? You, you need like 100? <laughs> I need 100. <laughs> Actually, I can't. I can't measure how much of a good time that this was. It definitely was up there. It was up there. I'm glad. I'm glad.